Welcome to Digital Electronics Experiment Lecture Series. Today, I'll be going to show you Serial Input Serial Output Shift Register using Multisim software. The video based on Serial Input Serial Output Shift Register is already added in Digital Electronics Playlist. So here we take an example of that video. So for that, we need D flip flop. So go to Mesh Digital. Then go to TTL and here we get D flip flop. To copy the component, first select the component and then press Ctrl plus C and Ctrl plus V. Now to apply the frequency at input side, we need a function generator. So here we get function generator. To observe the output, we need oscilloscope. So here we get four channel oscilloscope. Now we connect function generator's positive terminal at deep flip flop input and common terminal with ground. For ground, go to source, then go to power source, and here we get ground. So let us connect this all component. Here we connect first oscilloscope A channel at clock and D channel at input D. Now we connect second oscilloscope A channel at Q3 D channel at Q2 C channel at Q1 and D channel at Q0. Here we apply 2000 Hz frequency in square wave form at clock and 500 hertz frequency in square wave form with 75% of duty cycle at input D. So now or all the setup of serial input serial output shift register is completed. So let's simulate the circuit. For simulation, click on run and double click on oscilloscope. Here, first we need to set this all waveform in oscilloscope screen so we get clear idea about the output. So here we can see that in the first screen, the first waveform is input clock and second waveform is input D. In the second oscilloscope screen, the first waveform is output Q3. The second waveform is output Q2. The third waveform is output Q1. And the fourth waveform is output Q0. Here, input sequence is 1, 1, 1, 0. So, as per the output waveform, we can say that at each and every D flip flop, the input sequence is shift by one bit. So I hope you get clarification about serial input, serial output shift register. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any query regarding this video, then write on comment box. I'll be definitely try to solve your queries.